Hi there, Smart Drivers. Rick with Smart Drive Test talking to you today about night driving. Night driving is one of the things that they do not teach you in driving school or in preparation for a road test, but it is a fundamental skill that you're going to need after you get your license. So stick around. That's what we're going to talk about today. Hi there, Smart Drivers. Welcome back. Rick with Smart Drive Test talking to you today about night driving. And this week in preparation for night driving, we have the Smarter Driver course on sale over at the Smart Drive Test website for $17. Look down in the description there and you can pick that course up on sale. For Just let us know where you're tuning in from. Let us know uh, what class of license you're going for, anything that we can do for you, answering questions in terms of your license and whatnot, and be more than happy to help you out. And Tommy is here from Oshawa. Michael is here from California. Uh, new playlist, defensive driving information. Have a look at this playlist. It's featured on the front Smart Drive Test website page here. So you can see that and there's 10 techniques for you to remain crash free. And if you're just a new driver and just got your license, definitely have a look at that playlist as well. The farther you get away from cities, the more reliance you're going to have on your headlights of your vehicle. And those headlights, especially on low beam, are a poor substitute for light. So, uh, the most dangerous uh, time of day to drive is sunset and sunrise. And yes, this does tie into night driving. And the reason that this is most dangerous, and you can see this acutely in this picture here, is that our eyes are adjusted to the bright sky. Very few people wear night vision glasses, okay? There's no evidence to sh support that night vision glasses work. I don't see a lot of truck drivers wearing night vision glasses. And for newer vehicles, the, 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 the headlights will just turn on autom automatically, but don't be duped by your daylight running lights that in fact your lights are on. Make sure that you actually turn them on. Mike, I uh, passed my CDL job because it was 100% night driving. These tips help and may give me the courage to take the position. Yes, Mike, you're going to do great. Uh, looking for the road at night, that's really going to help you out. I was running office furniture from Cambridge, Ontario into Grand Rapids, Michigan. Grand Ma Rapids, Michigan, for, for those of you in the States who may or may not know, is, is nicknamed the furniture. And the reason it's the furniture is because it's Steelcase's headquarters. Steelcase is the leading manufacturer of office furniture and that's where their headquarters is in Grand Rapids, Michigan. It's about a 13 hour round trip from Cambridge, Ontario down to Grand Rapids, Michigan. And so I was down, I was coming back and it was probably about midnight and I'm on the freeway and I'm kicking along about 60, 65 mile an hour in a truck and I pulled out to pass this other truck and we're like neck and neck we're right beside each other going down the freeway at 65 mile an hour and these deer stepped out in front of the truck and i'll tell you from that experience there is nothing you can do those deer just stepped out in front of the truck and boom just like that anyway got the on the brakes got the truck pulled over the other truck stopped we got out i mean the front of the truck was a mess because i just like ran over them and but there wasn't anything you can do i mean they just flew off the truck there was damage to the front of the truck uh there wasn't a bull bar or anything on the front of the truck uh, for those of you who may not may or may not know a lot of trucks in australia particularly have these bull bars on the front that will protect the front of the truck from damage from hitting animals and those types of things so that was my one experience in michigan of hitting deer at night and it's it's like right there there's nothing you can do and and for those of you who may have this experience you have to decide you know because as i was right beside another truck if i had to try to avoid that instead of just driving into the deer i may have risked a collision and we both could have piled up and had a bit huge crash with two tractor trailers on the freeway uh, Mr. Green, uh, I just drove and it's night time. I was a little upset because I have a fear of people crossing in front of me and people in, pulling in front of me. A any advice? Yes, uh, Mr. Green, you want to look down the road as far as you can because, uh, you know, so that's one thing. So you want to look as far down the road as you can because at night you can see vehicles at a greater distance because uh, it's lights from a moving vehicle are going to be very different than stationary lights so you're going to be able to see other traffic spe specifically cross traffic and whatnot so congratulations to all of the smart drivers in the last week or two that have passed their license be sure to head over to the smart drive test website and sign up for the 100k campaign that really helps us out and you could potentially be entered you could be you will be entered in a draw for a hundred dollar fuel card and we'll get that going here and get those up and announce the winners 
And if you're going for a road test in the next week or two, be sure to ask us any questions that you might have. And good luck with your road test. You're going to do awesome. And again, for all the smart drivers out there that have just got your license, consider the defensive driving course, the Smarter Driver course over the Smart Drive Test website. Uh, you can pick it up now for $17, regularly $42.50. It's on sale. Lots of strategies, tips, and techniques for driving defensively and keeping yourself crash free. I'm Rick with Smart Drive Test. Thanks very much for watching. Good luck in your road test. And remember, pick the best answer, not necessarily the right answer. Have a great night. Bye now.